What's happening, explorers? Brandon Abandon, the 6'4 Explorer, exploring with Urbex Stickland. I got an amazing spot for you guys here. You guys are gonna love it. I've got a real old house. This is like 20 plus years abandoned. Old wooden log house. There's a whole bunch of stuff left behind, but there's a whole bunch of mess. One of the floors is completely gone, but luckily the basement is only like two feet deep, so it didn't go too far. We've got a trailer. We've got a car. Check that out. I know you guys are gonna love this video. I'm, I've already been here for like over an hour and I haven't even started to film. I've just been enjoying and looking. I've taken a few pictures here and there, but I know you guys are gonna love it. Let's jump right into this one. Let's get exploring. So we've got this big giant fence, huge gate that goes all the way around the property. It's pretty nuts. And then right when you come in here, we got beautiful old Jetta. Sucks that this is where it's sitting now. And we've got a giant, giant RV. This thing's huge. And now this property, it's quite, quite strange. Because I'm guessing maybe somebody was living in the house and then eventually they couldn't anymore and then they were living in this trailer. But now this trailer hasn't been lived in for a really long time. I think it's impossible to walk up to it. The door's open, things are falling down. There's even bear poo, bear scat in this place. But just look at that. we still got everything left here. And it smells horrible inside this trailer. But it only smells more like, just like crap. It doesn't smell like, like it's been weathered or it's been here for too, too long out in the weather. But obviously it, it's been a while since anybody's been living in here. Somebody came and ransacked the whole place. You'll notice that when we're in the house too. A whole bunch of old DVDs. Any good ones? Barney's version. The Devil Wears Prada. Love and Savagery. Jason Bourne. Cool old picture. A nice lamp. Like there's a bunch of stuff left all over this house and this this trailer. Forty Creek. There's a lot of booze all over the place. Oh, a full thing of coffee. Something ate the chocolate bar behind it. All the appliances you're going to see in this house are from like the 70s. It's nuts. Is there more stuff even in here? Yeah. Whoa. Some TV remotes. Extra flashlights. Stove still sitting here. An old Montreal Canadiens blanket. Table still set up, ready to go. Like a nice wine decanter. Like a nice picture. Just little things from from whoever lived here. I don't understand. Well, <laughs> whoever it was took the TV. The TV in the other place, there it was too old. You'll see. Like it's nuts how old it is. <sighs> Seeing it's mainly the smell in this room because there's your bear poo. It's just a little bear, but it's got so many berries in it that I don't know what else it could be. Ugh. And look, there's a whole bunch of diarrhea. Sorry, we won't keep showing that. That's nasty. But we still got clothes left hanging up. This guy's old shirt. 
you can see a shirt in there. Oh, there we go. They all have like a weird way to open it. There we go. Now I've got it figured out. Got the shoes. More clothes. And all the drawers. Someone just disappeared. Just for cleaning your nails. Tons of little things, little knickknacks all over. Let's, let's see just what's going on over here. Oh, sorry about the camera there. Nothing. So nothing around the bed. Those horses there are really cool. Again, we're not going to go on that side of the bed because of the crap let me get uh this place is quite small when you've got a backpack on is that not awesome and the shower is not even that bad but i said you could tell with with the crap that's all in here nobody's been in here for a while uh, spider webs where their toothbrush is not good this door it's just another toilet been used but <laughs> is that not cool is this place not awesome on its own i love it we still got a house to explore so we're gonna make our way there i never noticed we had this toucan from cuba a nice little cross the time stopped at exactly 12 o'clock now i don't think it was bought and that second hand was like that so the clock died here at exactly 12 o'clock that's pretty darn cool i'll show you a wee bit of a walk here you can come with me as we go over here start to see the house there look at that is that not crazy there's even another chunk to this property that has a whole lot of abandoned cars on it, but it seems like it might be impossible to get to. I'm definitely going to take a peek and see, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm going to show you another view of, view of the Jetta here. Uh, all of these are such so prickly, the bushes. But there's the car there. So I backtracked a little bit just to show you guys just exactly how we get to the front door here. There's a lot of beer cans. <laughs> Someone is hanging out drinking. <laughs> Look at this. It's in quite a mess. bit down here now, we're not gonna be able to get into every room obviously but we will be able to take a peek at every room the floor here is getting a little bad you see right there's where I was saying that the floor gave away a beautiful fireplace in the basement it's not too not too deep so that's as far as the floor could go pretty cool all right we're gonna make our way this way if you see all the clothes even a beautiful old leather jacket look at that i hate seeing old leather jackets wasting away and then we got a gas tank for a vehicle i'm not sure but like all the wood, all the old stucco, the old clock. We come into the kitchen. All the dishes, everything left. The peanut butter. Let's just do a quick peek here. Look, there's an old shoe. <laughs> there's a couple more old, real old boots there. Oh, okay. Come into here. I like how they had the wooden door 
to go into your living room. But again, nice, nice low wood ceilings, stucco walls. I'll step over here just a little bit. So you can see, look, all the stuff still left here. What does that say on the jacket? Go Transit. That's pretty cool. And that door is open. It's been open for a while, so that's helping this place get moldy. And over here, a bunch of old shoes. Cool old... Looks like a plaster or something. Maybe from Cuba as well to go with the... Uh, the what you call it? The toucan. I just want to show you this real quick. Since the, there was power in the fridge and in that fan, we were looking for a light switch. We couldn't find it. And then all of a sudden, Greg found it. Flicked it on. This place looks just as horrible with the lights on. But <laughs> is that not messed up? How a house like this still has power? It's one spark away from igniting. And they haven't shut it off yet. That's just absolutely incredible. Let's get back out here. Let's look at the mess. Groceries and stuff everywhere. Rotted food and garbage. We got a, looks like a shotgun shell. Look at that, that's uh, on the far right there. That's the teddy bear's head as the peanut butter jar. Haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> not sure, not sure what the point of the cow is. Nice cool lamp. Look how old that dishwasher is. That's amazing. And then more shoes on the floor, but all the drawers are filled. Oh. My pants are hooked. There we go, we're free. A whole bunch of liquor bottles. All empty. <laughs> just for just for all the fans. Oh full of food. Look, it's dripping. Oh man. There's still power. Now there's a fan that's running in the basement. So we had a bit of an idea that there could be power, but I didn't know the extent of it. I wouldn't imagine that there'd still be power in here. The ceiling coming down. Big old wooden door open there. A lot more booze in the shelf and some oils. This is really cool though. Look at this little nick niche area here. What's that up there? Oh, an old light. But yeah, so this little niche area here. It was their little bar. Somebody would stand in there and make you your drinks. Well, I guess it might have been a little stove considering there's a, a stove top fan. But look at all the booze, eh? These people, they like to party. They like to have their drinks. And here we got a real old, real old stove. That's awesome. The crosses on the, the, like the metal going through the windows there. So it's got those diamonds. That's very cool too. What do you think this is? Maybe a Spanish style house with the brick, with the stucco, with the, uh, the crosses on the windows. Look, even here and even with the wood, this was a bathroom area. <laughs> That wall's completely open there. That's pretty nuts again. That grandma's old rocking chair. More booze and a bunch of books over there. That's pretty cool. Books and some magazines. Oh yeah. Okay, so if you look into the claw into the garage. The whole door frame's pretty messed up there. Here we go. See if I can't get out there from the other way as well. But it's just pretty much under construction. There's nothing too crazy in there. 
We're gonna walk around because I just want to see what all these books and everything are. There's the trailer again. A real old computer, real old TV. Bunch of historical books, atlases, wildlife. That's really cool. Uh, now we made it over to these books. Time and Love. Henrik Stein. <laughs> Henrik Stokowinskis. A whole lot of his books. Those are pretty cool. And then Challenge and Survive. Architect Drawings. That's really cool. This guy was trying to grow his mind. Look how old that TV is. I haven't seen nothing like that before. That's crazy. That's awesomely old. Oh. This box here too. The fishes and bees. Water, wheels. I'm guessing this is going to be filled with books too then. Yeah. Math table, reading for children. Like some of these are some really old books. Sons and Lovers. Man, do I love old books. Roman Life. So cool. It sucks that this is where they're gonna live now with all these cobwebs and garbage. Oh. Okay. So what we're gonna do before we go into this really cool room here, we're gonna check out the basement. The good thing is is these are concrete poured stairs. So we don't have to worry. Put sticks and junk and everything, making it a little bit difficult to get around. See, and this is the weird thing here. So this basement, right? It's a mess. I don't know why you try and try and save anything down here, but this fan's going plugged in up there. This house, it has power, we've seen with the fridge, but like that's crazy. How long has that fan just been running? There's just a bunch of garbage, an old microwave. See over there, you can see where the floor is falling down, but they didn't fully dig it out. Luckily, or else that could have been a lot worse. It might have pulled, pulled more of the house down. All this weird construction supplies and stuff around too. But a working fan down here, that's strange. Like, look at this furnace. That's heavy duty. That's serious stuff. <laughs> All right. But again, the nice stone. Take our way out of here. My backpack's gonna catch again, but we're good. And now, time for this gem of a room. All right, here we go. Look at this room. The rest of the house is in such bad shape. And then here we are. It's weird that there's so many sticks and twigs. Somebody was either making weird art or they were having fires somewhere. But that's an old couch. Like that's almost going back to the 60s. That's beautiful. Here we got a bunch more books. Books and random stuff. Some uh, an old binder, operation manuals. All the old coasters. It's gross, a cat box. <laughs> These real old chairs. They match. They match the couch. All the stuff still left. Look, there's keys. Locks for the keys, more giant booze. Here we got everything still left. 
in a little drawer. This picture here is really cool. That picture's awesome. This lamp's awesome. Check this out too. <laughs> so we've got, oh, here we go. The TV and everything's still here. A real big old TV. <laughs> Again, with the remote. As soon as I said you don't see that much, now every TV's got a remote. Look at that. Old, old EQ equipment. Toshiba. Feels better in the Bahamas on this record player. You got Frank Sinatra and all those good guys. Just more old newspaper. Is there a date on this one? December 27th, 2002. You can't always tell by, by newspaper, but look at this house, right? It hasn't been too far from that. Oh. Thought we got Bibles. But again, see, there's all these, all these letters and all that stuff. And one of the drawers is just completely full of that. Fundamentals of... What's that, a VCR underneath it? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Fundamentals of physics. Now we'll check out this side. But first off on top, you guys know I love globes. This one's quite nice. Then we got a camel. We got an old lady here. Another nice painting. But take a look in here. Like we are definitely in a little time capsule, especially this room. Now these two drawers here, they're full of a whole bunch of personal information. So we're not going to show those drawers, but these were pretty cool. They're all the little pictures, a, b a bunch of an old guy standing by a tree. There he is out on a boat. Pretty, pretty darn cool stuff, if you ask me. What do we got here? A beautiful old stove. That's awesome. With twigs in here, so yeah. At least the guy was smart and he was having fires in here. Nice old picture. Bunch of stuff stored here. If I notice, if I don't point something out that you guys notice is really cool, make sure to put it in the comments so that everybody can see. But this is just absolutely beautiful, especially since somebody was here having a fire, staying, enjoying it. We're gonna slowly walk back so you guys can see everything. That sailboat's so cool. All the old books, the old TV, old equalizer, old record machine. You got your 70s, 60s, 50s couch. That lamp is just outstanding. Look at this place. Now you guys can understand why I was in here, just taking pictures, enjoying. Now this is the fun part of the job when you find beautiful spots like this. In this house that you would have no idea, you come into the final back room and it's just gorgeous. This setup here is amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. We'll make our way upstairs now. It's rather short and sweet, you'll see. But the beautiful wood railings. Again with the stucco and the, the wood. Cool little shelf. If you look up there too. 
stained glass window. Look how old all these electronics are. Well, appliances, sorry. Real old, real old. But that wood is amazing. The railing. We even got an old pink vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Even the light works in there. That's nuts. So we'll just keep using my light. Everything's in here still. Got an old, even an old welding mask. That's crazy. Oh, I just had to duck under there. This beautiful old pink lampshades. The pink lampshades to go with the pink vacuum cleaner. Another hole open out to the world. An old shoe, a red chair. This was your kid's room. See the teddy bears going around? That's pretty cool. And then that little, that little thing there, blocking off the room. Got a tiny little TV. Bunch of furnace pieces. Another old lamp. Another lampshade there that's broken. That sucks. That would be beautiful in a pool hall. Or just over any pool table. Okay. Now into this room here. As you can see. There's some beds. bunch of stuff going on old wicker shelf that little porch there this is your front of the house here maybe we'll see if we can't all right we made it <laughs> This is what your property looks like. Well, I guess we don't need the flashlight out here at the moment. But just everything taken right over. I like the wooden, the wooden doors though. Nice wooden floors only they're not, they're not in the best shape right now. So thankfully we're back to where it was strong. This stuff here was awesome. I loved it. Let's get another peek at that stained glass window. That's how we'll end it right there. So along the walk from the house to that trailer, or from, sorry, from the house to that like little barn area, we've got this. I don't think that that tree grew up against it like that. Maybe a little bit. Do you guys think that this van's been here long enough for that tree to grow and block the door? Or did they just park it there because that's all the space they had? Weird. I, I love seeing vehicles out in the middle of the forest. It's nuts. So there's this little area here as well. It's part of the property. I'm going to show you because I said I like vehicles. We've got an old Jetta. Really old. <laughs> We've got a nice old van. A little barbecue set up and everything for hanging out here. That's the barn that we were in the one side of. And this other side's all messed up. There's this little area. I wonder if this door will open. Yes, but there's so much crap in there that it's blocked. Somebody went in the window. <laughs> or tried to anyway. I don't know why they wouldn't just squeeze through here, but if you look, this place is just filled with everything. But this is where I wanted to show you. Keep on cruising. So this part of the garage door was open. And what do we got? Another car. A Honda that says 2017. So the property had been being used still, but... 
The house definitely was not. Everything's in here. Naked Kendall. Marble tables. Burger Wars. Never even heard of that. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Burger Wars. <laughs> like saws, toys. Absolutely everything. All the clothes here still left. That's a nice piano. <laughs> I guess they were working on the car. There's another little piano. Got a wheelbarrow that I'm kicking. See, there's the door that we looked in over there. We got a tractor. More clothes hanging up. A canoe. Old radios, old speakers. This is just amazing. Can't believe how much stuff there is left. You even look at these old kids' toys. Old rackets, golf cues. Nice old, nice old typewriter. That feels empty. There's so much stuff on the ground, I feel bad sometimes having to walk on top of everything, but no other way to get around. Bunch of bikes. There's old suitcases, gap boxes, old radios, old toys that should be sitting the proper way. An old trunk of funk. Holy. Still completely full with everything. And that trunk itself's worth some good money. Holy wow. It's almost like most of the stuff they just moved from the house out here once the house wasn't doing too well. Insulation pieces. That car is crazy. I'm gonna walk back through and film. That way we can see everything from this angle now because there's so much stuff. Like even that old TV down there. Old boxes. Suitcases, stuff up on the wall. There's the canoe I was talking about. It's huge. More kids' toys. Look at that. We're gonna climb over the canoe for a second. Aw. <laughs> a Coca Cola phone. You ever seen that before? It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This is all old, all old kids toys. And there's stuff in every drawer. This old little container here. That's amazing. I'm just gonna take this over here so that once I'm done filming upstairs, I can take a picture of it. I've never seen a Coca-Cola phone before. It's back. Look at all this stuff. A little mannequin again. This little hangout area. We got a troll. Look at this. This room's awesome. There's so much stuff. Like, this is nuts. I'm almost getting overwhelmed here. 
Like everything is still set up like they were living here. Except for like a little bit of rummishing through. <laughs> Did you guys see everything that's in here? I even had that old balloon right there hanging up when I was a kid. Look at that old toy. Holy. Holy. And it's all good stuff too. Like there's no nice old uh, boat oar. Like there's no porn or drugs or anything bad. Chainsaws and tools. That's crazy. More stuff up here. Everything. Everything that's left, look. I wonder if that painting there is worth some money. That's very cool. Oh, grandfather clock. Everything on the ground. Everything left in these drawers too. Yeah. That's nuts. How absolutely everything's left here. This is another amazing time capsule. I'm gonna walk up here. And again, just storage and storage and storage. So much stuff. We've got an old Jaguar sitting here hanging out. Oh, that's beautiful. Two tone, the two tone paint. We've got what looks like maybe a little, a little Honda. I don't know if it's actually a Honda, but take a peek back there. Yeah, it just might be. Then we got this big old Ford. Dodge, sorry. Forgive me. We've got this van. And over here, we got like an old Buick. An old lineup of cars. <laughs> Is that not really cool? So this guy's got a pretty big property and I decided to take a peek and do a little walk around while my buddy's filming. And I found this truck somebody has brought out here and hidden. So it's been here for a little while. Someone's taken both of the tires. It looks like perhaps they tried to uh, open the compartments, but they're all still closed. We got some license plates. Keys are even still in it. But it doesn't start. You got your cool switches. There's a whole bunch of random stuff. Like, that's pretty cool, though. These are all locked, so I'm guessing the people didn't get nothing out. This one's a little bit off, but you still, you can't see. So, guessing perhaps they took it here. That was their plan, and it didn't work out too well. <laughs> This is a pretty serious truck though to just be sitting here out in the middle of the forest. Really cool. And along the path there was this cool little machine. A whole bunch of wood and a bunch of random stuff. But I want you to see this cool, <coughs> cool old piece of machinery here. Maybe an old mixing drum, you would guess bottom's hollow 
I don't know if it's just rusted out though. If you know what that is, please let me know. Throw that down in the in the comments for everybody, please. Because that's a very interesting piece. Got this little barn over here too. It's just full of a whole bunch of stuff. We got this cool little planter there. But he had his little hangout area. Maybe this was a little workshop of his. It's <laughs> even a shelf in here. A bunch of clothes. Oh. Personal stuff left behind. An old hat. Got a baby crib. <laughs> Look at everything. There's just so much junk. Chairs, tables, appliances garbage old wood chairs like this very nice little one there there's more shelves looks <laughs> like somebody oh you can always tell if there's been a s explorer there before you because you can always see a path a whole bunch of garbage in a basement below us. <laughs> a whole bunch of clothes. A really nice bike. Look at all the wooden doors. Everything in here is worth money. All this old wood. All worth money. This is crazy. Can't believe how much stuff is in here. And the fact that there's a basement. And up there we got a whole bunch of just... Man, oh man. Let's see if we can't... Oh. I don't want to fall through any of these holes. There's another chunk to this barn, but it's down on the ground, so we won't be able to get in there. Doesn't look like there's much going on underneath where we are, at least. So if we don't get down there, it's not going to be that big of a concern. It just seems like a whole bunch of garbage. Up there, there's a bunch of cool stuff, though. Old lamps and stuff like that. All right, Explorers, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What an amazing spot. And this was a drive-by find again. I'm telling you, sometimes, man, when you're going to a spot, the drive-by find that you get, they're the gems. This spot, I had no idea it was here. Driving by to another place, tagged it on the way back, stopped. Everything that's here, can you believe it? The power's still on. That one room with the couches and everything set. This was a dream find. I absolutely loved this house, everything about it. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark now. I was here when it was bright and I'm leaving when it's dark. So cool, all the pictures, videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep watching this spot, maybe even come back in a couple years. Hopefully it's still here. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for your comments, for your love, for your views, for your support. Brandon Abandon, ciao for now. Catch you on the next Explore.
peace of the universe indeed Will you follow was boiling, I cooled it off, but I still aim to explode the cocktail of Molotov. I am not the boss, but I don't acquiesce to our laws, internal powers that be, have really no sense of cause. Of human life took all the rights of freedom in our sights of our machine guns. They sell the babies to protect their investments. I'll no longer be repressing, women no longer undressing. We'll all rise, close your eyes, the out was never really all that wise. Athena, taking her back to tell them the war was straight whack, trying to keep the power Close, they hanging by the Pinocchio nose, but no room and clutch. Instead of saying that's it, we your balls and your dick. Can you stand up for the kids? I'm not condoning the 